with almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you didn't get to them all. So if you didn't see real-time stream analytics with Google Cloud Dataflow, common use cases and patterns, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. You might be asking yourself, what makes handling streaming data different? Well, when you've got lots of data, and I mean lots of data constantly coming in, you can't just process it the same way as a large batch data set. We need to make sure we handle the data appropriately as it comes in. Streaming analysis tools let us work with unbounded data and handle challenges such as unknown delays. This is especially common for mobile users and devices that aren't always connected. Late data will still need to factor into your data processing. In addition, we often want to work with grouping our data into meaningful sets by factors like time. This is called windowing, and we can do this by dividing our events into fixed time intervals, sliding time intervals, or based on when a user is active and sending events. So knowing some of the challenges that make streaming analysis unique, let's implement an example. If we were going to build a game with lots of events, we can use the Google Cloud Dataflow and the Apache Beam SDK to do this. We can implement data processing with event handling, and we'll build a pipeline using some common patterns. First, we'll want to make sure we handle each event only once, through exactly once processing. We can use Google Cloud PubSub to handle all of the events, but we'll add in some deduplication logic right in Dataflow to avoid handling the same event twice. Next, we'll want to make sure we can handle bad data that comes in. By default, Dataflow will continuously retry those records because we don't want to lose data. Instead of that, let's build in a system to handle malformed data, storing it in BigQuery for further analysis and setting up alerts in Google Cloud Functions. Now we know that data won't be lost. Even when we protect against bad data, sometimes additional data comes in, but we actually still want to capture it. Thankfully, BigQuery allows for additive schema changes. If additional data comes in that goes beyond our original schema, we can have BigQuery update the fields without any downtime and reinsert it. Of course, with all of that data, there are other parts of our architecture that might have important information for our game events. In order to enrich our data with some real-time denormalization, we'll add a step for grabbing data from another source, such as Bigtable. During the data flow processing, we'll make a connection to Bigtable, pull out the information we need, and then add that back into our pipeline. Finally, let's do some user behavior analysis on our data. Now that we've got all of our enriched data, we want to look at windowing our data with sessions so that we know when a user is playing the game. Also, grouping by user ID lets us fully analyze what events a user generates during an activity session. Now that is a streaming analytics solution. In the video, Ryan gives more detail about how you can implement these, as well as a great use case from Sky, a television provider in Europe that saw some fantastic benefits when switching from an on-prem solution to using Dataflow and Beam. If you'd like to see the full talk, click on the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.